Hey guys, Richard Holder here for Speed Secrets. This episode is all about intercooling. Now when it comes to intercoolers, there are basically two types. You've got air to air and air to water. For our test on the Turbo LS, we chose an air to water intercooler. And if you're going to run that type, you have to try ice water. So why do we want ice water on our Turbo LS? Well, the power output of any combination is determined by the number of oxygen molecules present. Colder air equals denser air equals more molecules. More molecules equal more power. To find out how much ice water was worth, we set up the following test. We took a 2008 LY6 6 liter. To that stock bottom end, all we did was increase the factory ring gap. Then we added an LJMS Stage 3 twin turbo cam, a set of TrickFlow 225 heads, and a Holly Race Sniper intake. Now if that combination sounds familiar, it's our Gen 4 Big Bang motor. Now if you haven't heard of it, that particular stock bottom end produced 1,543 horsepower at 29.2 pounds before we topped out our three bar map sensor, and it's still alive. Now this particular test was run down at 14 pounds, but if these results are any indication, the gains are gonna be even greater at those higher boost levels. Speaking of boost, boost was supplied to this motor by a pair of S475 Warner turbos from LJMS. They fed boost through a dual core air to water intercooler from CX Racing. Now that core was supplied water through a 10 gallon cell. This made it easy for us just to run ambient water or add a bunch of ice with ice bags. That way we could run the ice water through it and cool everything off. So how did it do? Let's check it out. Okay guys, the results are in, and it looks like Ice Water is a real cool customer. I mean, we got three major changes during this test. Run with the Ice Water, the charge temperature dropped from 100 degrees down to 68 degrees. That's a change of 32 degrees in the manifold, which is a lot given the low boost level. The next thing is the lower charge temperature actually increased the boost level by as much as one full pound. And remember, we made no change to the manual wastegate controller. That was all from the change in temperature. The final thing is a dramatic increase in power. We saw gains as high as 72 horsepower and 74 foot-pounds of torque. And remember, those gains would be even higher at higher boost levels. I guess when it comes to intercooling, ice is nice. I'm Richard Holder. That's all the time I have. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.